Hello and welcome, welcome to the TV room. What we're looking at here is a rather, a rather dusty example of the upper board of a Commodore SP9000, otherwise known as the Super Pit. I'm just going to call Rudy because he has been working on one of these and has been having tremendous issues. Oh, that's right. Oh, oh, hello, Rudy. So I, I've got this sitting here. And yes, by the way, I am recording here. Okay. So, um, yes, I'm looking at this board. Now, you said there were some fudge wires here and there. Yeah, underneath. Okay. Oh, underneath. So, are, are, are you with your super pet or close to it? Yes. Yep. Okay. I do see on the top side... There is a wire towards the bottom right-hand corner. Okay. Uh, in, before we go there, what version is your board? Oh, you asked such good questions. Hang on here. Let me look. I must get to my glasses. Commodore, no, computer side. Hang on here. Where is it? Okay, so you know... You know, on the top right, there's a big like heat sink. Yes. Underneath that, on the bottom side, it'll say artwork N O for number, and then a number, and then grab minus grab B. Okay, hang on. We're turning it over. Oh yeah. Okay. So it is. Hang on here. Is it nine hundred thousand and seventeen? It is fab number nine zero 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 eight. Okay. Revision B. Okay, and the number below Artwork that? Artwork number nine zero 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 one seven, revision B. Exactly the same board. Woohoo. Yay. Cool. Okay. So if you have some bodge wires, can you take some pictures? Yeah. Also on the underneath, if there's any bodge wires on the bottom side of the board, that would be great. Okay. Rudy, can you tell the people what a bodge wire is? A bodge wire is a wire you put in place between two pins in case um, the trace is broken or the there's some kind of other damage that the connection is not getting between one pin and another. So you, put, you can call it a jumper wire or a bodge wire. Basically, you're restoring the connection between two pins. Gotcha. That's that's the kind of thing I'll have to do when I go back to try and fix the 1571s that I had trouble with. Uh, Remember, I, I ripped a trace. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Funny. Okay, on, uh, I will shoot pictures, but on the bottom right now, I only see two. Okay. One will, let's see. Are you looking at your board? Yes. Okay. I have the RS-232 port in front of me. And not lined up with that, but if I move one sort of layer of chips to the right. Is this the bottom or the top side? The bottom. Okay. So your RS-232 port is on the, on the right? No, it's on the left. Okay, it's on the it's, left. It's, it's right in front of me. Okay. And then... If you, there's a hole in the board just a little bit to the right of that RS-232 thing. Yeah, yeah. And if you go straight up, it looks yeah. like between the, probably between the second and the third chips. Okay. There, there is a wire that seems to go from the very left corner of one to the right corner of another. Okay, there's so... A, I'm going to need, is that the only one? Or no, the other one? no, just the other one is way, way over to the, the far left. Okay. And it's funny because I'd have to get a better look at this. It actually looks like someone scratched a trace away. Yeah. And so it would be on the yeah, one, two, three, four. Looks like on the fifth chip from the bottom. Okay. And it looks like from the corner pin to the fourth pin in. 
and it really i'd have to get a better look with better glasses but it looks like it's something that they screwed up on and said oh wait we didn't want the fifth pin to join the corner we wanted the fourth pin ah it's possible so what i need is if you could send me some pictures yeah. um close and zoomed out so i know where on the board yeah, yeah, yeah. and i'm just going to turn the board over for a second oh do you know if that board if your board is working i don't know uh, I just, I remember I said, I thought, I was thinking, what have I done? Where have I put things? And then I thought, yeah, the mantle. Maybe I put them on the mantle. On the mantle. Anyway, so I went digging through the mantle and I found a bunch of, including a, a, a super pet. Uh, like I found this thing. I said, oh, yay, this is it. And then I said, oh, wait a sec. This is upper board. And then I found another thing in the bag that said lower board. So it's it's one of the, the two board versions. It is. It is indeed. But wait a minute, this board is one of two boards? Oh, no, no, this is one of one. <laughs> one of one, this exactly. Is, I, yeah. It was after I found the other ones, I said, oh, wait, no, 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 that's not the right thing. So if you could do me a favor, take those pictures, yeah. and then if you can, plug it in to see if it works. Okay, I've got to find an A32. Um, okay, oh, one last thing, oh. on the top. Yeah. If you put the RS-232 connector completely away from you. Okay. And then look... Let's see, there's J2, U10. Um, U10, I'm looking for U10. Okay, J, J2 is right almost in the corner, but not quite in the corner. It, it's, sorry, it's, it's the, it'll be the thing close to you. If the RS-232 port is way away from you, very much in front of you is J2. I don't have a J2. It, it's like, it might be where the switches plug in. Okay, yeah, there, there it is. Yeah, that's J2, yeah. Okay, right next to it is a chip, which is U10. Right. And just beyond that, between... Right. That, there is a wire. Oh, there is. There is a wire. I don't I don't have that on mine. Hmm. So it looks like this one, someone has been putting in bodge wires and doing weird stuff and then did a crappy job, and it never worked, so they probably just gave up on it. So maybe it's up all the bad chips. But yeah, if I could, because it's the same revision and the same artwork, um, if I put you, the bodge wires that you have on yours on mine, but, yeah, assuming mine is working, that, yeah, yeah. If yours is working and it's the same bodge wires, then then that it's a good sign. And if it's still not working, then I know it's one of the ROMs. It's funny, you know. You know how you mentioned there was like, oh, I don't know, was it a capacitor and a resistor or something connected? Yes. On? Yes. Yeah, there were some of them. C thirty. Uh. So do you know yeah. if you have the R two thirty two port pointing away from you, if you look to your right at the very bottom, is a big heat sink, right? Yeah. Okay, just to the left of that, there's a capacitor, and above that at C30, there's a resistor with a capacitor on the top of it. I'm looking. Just uh, below U34. Hang on. Da, 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 da. So if you look at that big heat sink, you just go to yep. just a little bit to the left, you'll see a capacitor. And then above that, you'll see a resistor with a capacitor on top of it. Oh. Hmm. Well, mine has it. I don't know. Oh. Interesting. You don't see it. Uh, so, I, so look at the heat sink. Look right. to the left. Okay, so do you have the heat sink to closest to you on the board? Well, uh, okay, the RSU32 port is farthest away from me in the back. So it's pointing away from you. Okay. Yeah. So on the very bottom right, yeah, you'll see a, a heat sink. Heat sink, yes. And then to the to the left of that, you'll see a capacitor. Yes. And then above that, you'll see a resistor with a capacitor above it. Huh. Funny, I don't see that here. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I don't know if this has been wired in. I don't know if it's been wired in afterwards, like at the factory, or someone did this. So see, there's other places. Yes. Like that. that. There are. That have those funny looking things, like um, yeah. let's see, back to the J two spot. If we yeah. look over, C sixteen is a weird thing with two things. C sixteen, yep. And see, I only have the I only have the, the capacitor. I don't have. Yeah, 
So and C twenty two has the same kind of weird thing. Yeah. And C eighteen so has. The main thing I need is if if those pictures, and I need to know if your board is working. If it is, then I can make the exact same mods on this one. Yep. Okay, yep. I will have to gather and no. see. I've got a well, you know what? With this board, I didn't have any of the connector things. But uh oh. I'm still hunting. Okay. So, I, firstly, I will. I will shoot pictures and send you things. Thank you. That'd and be great. See, this is, it is a rather dusty looking thing here. Um, it is indeed. That's okay. Dust happens. If I can get close-ups of the, where the bodge wire or jumper wires are, then I know exactly where to saw it. So I need one that's further away so I can tell the orientation of the board and then one gets close up where it, the wire is in the chip, the, the lakes, right? The, the, the J2 and that would be uh, fantastic. Yeah, I, it was like, I was like, I got, I, it's got to be here. It's got to be here. Yeah. Got to be, got to be, got to be. And I found another dead dead um, support chip on the 8032 side. Oh, dear. And it's related to the IEEE port. <laughs> oh, dear. So is it, so, oh. Oh, but you don't have one of those. What? The, no, the I, that... I actually I found the I found the chip in my inventory. You remember a long, long time ago you gave me a box full of different chips? Oh yeah. Yeah, I found one in there. Woohoo. I've actually taken all those chips and put them in little drawers and kind of um grouped them. And I actually this morning I found one. Cool. You know, one thing I'm worried about with this board I'm looking at here. Yep. Is uh on some of the chips, I do see evidence of rust uh -huh. on the legs, but it's 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 above where the board is. But I'm like, oh, right. rust. Mm. Yeah. Mm, I good. think this was there was a super pet I remember getting that was absolutely just filthy as filthy could be. Yeah, and I think this is the upper board that was in there. Ah, uh -huh. but for now, I will. Uh, I will look for, I guess I need to find, well, the legs would be handy. Um, the switch and all the other accessory cables to stick it in something else and just see if it comes alive. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be great. Cause if it does come alive, um, and I put the jumper wires or the bodge wires, depending how you want to call it on mine, and it still doesn't work, then I can use yours to see which of those EPROMs are bad. Yeah, I, 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 I'm just shifting the board a bit. I yeah, would I bet, to, from all the things that Rudy has been going through and stuff, I would bet that it is one of these three ROM chips. Yep. One, and, and the same as, as yours, one of them is in a socket, and two of Correct. them are not. Yeah. So there's two empty ones, and there's empty sockets and there's yep. two soldered in yep. and then the last one on the left or whatever where you're looking at it is in the socket and i've already yep. denoxed it and and uh put it back in now yep. uh, you know that uh, that there's a crystal beside that socketed chip oh yeah yeah mine was bad hmm. and i've it's very rare you find a bad uh that, that's, crystal that's the but, big gray thing yeah aha uh -huh. So I luck I lucky I, I was able to get a new one and put that in, so mm -hmm. right, the so, one thing about this board I know for sure is because I just put it in a bag. Down at the heat sink. Yep. It's kind of like there's one area that's like double layered. Like it's got okay. it's got like the main heat sink and then yep. it has the uh is that a transistor that's connected to it? It's a voltage regulator. Voltage regulator, okay. Then farther down the heat sink there should yep. be a double layer of heat sink. Like there's another one connected. Anyway, somehow the, the, the rivet or whatever was holding it had come off. So the up the second part of that heat sink, it's not on there. Oh, but, okay. but I have it. Yeah, that's not hard to put back. I, have it, I have it in a bag. Yeah, just to help cool out down the uh, that voltage regular, they just added a second one. Yeah, it's not really... 
It's like making two, combining two smaller heat sinks into one larger yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I figured. Well, I figured they did it for. Yeah. They did it for a reason. Probably and cheaper to course, buy hmm? two small ones. Probably cheaper to buy two small ones and one larger one. Well, maybe they just got the big one and said, "You know what? It needs more." Yeah. It just does. Could be better that they get, <coughs> get rid of too much heat than not enough. Exactly. All right, so I need the ribbon cable. There's also there's a little funny power cable that runs up that goes to J5. Yes. Yeah. J5 ribbon cable, and then yeah. the um, the switch cable. Right. So even if I can't find the legs, as long as I can find those, and a working 8032. Yep. Yeah. I should be able to see what's what. Yep. Yeah, you you'd be able to put like. A book or something on top of the 8032 and just put the board down temporarily. I'm just looking at the, yeah, there's a lot of, this has got to have been from the really rusty. Oh, good. I'm looking at the 68, uh, 6809. Mm -hmm. Boy, the legs look, um, well, talk about micro corrosion, my word. Well, I've made some, I have, um, um, I made some new legs. Well, they didn't make them. I just kind of put them together with standoffs. So if you need some, if you're missing any, let me know. I can give you these plastic oh, I'll, ones. I'll, I'll, I'll just right now, I'm crying out the 6809. Yeah. Look. Oh, my word. Talk about... This is not micro-corrosion. It's yep. mega-corrosion. Oh, my. It's not rust exactly, but boy, they are. Um, they're filthy. The pins are filthy. Whew. It's time for an eraser. And then some. Yep. But yeah, there are. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I think this board has seen a hard life. Yeah. I think I'm just taking the eraser to the to the pins a little bit, being very careful, of course, not to bend any. But wow, that won't help. I suppose this would certainly be a good candidate for a blast of deoxid and then some. Whew. But the eraser does some good stuff. I actually have the oxid right here. I'm going to spray some. Oh, even just looking in the holes in the sockets, yep. I can see stuff. Mm. Yuck. Okay, I have deoxidated the thingy. And now, if I can, without doing damage. I'll kind of work the chip in and out a little bit. Just a little. All right. Well, I need to get going. Okay. So, well, be. so uh, also, whenever good. you're back down this way, you can. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm going to take pictures. I'll send them immediately. And yeah, then, uh, but you. when you're down, then uh, you should uh, take this with you to help in your experimentation. Yes, that would be great. I, maybe if we, just with those pictures, I can uh, put those bodge wires back in and everything would be good. Maybe. Uh, my gut is maybe. more and more saying it, it, it's probably a ROM. That's what I'm thinking, too, because it's because it's the more complicated issue. Yep, yep, <laughs> now I have to figure out, uh, I have to figure out um, how to make a new ROM, if I can get the ROMs. I need to know what kind of ROM I well, can put in there. Well, for, first, yeah, I've got to find it. it. Like, if these ones as weird as they're, you know, as, actually, the one, actually, the funny thing is, the ones at the front, the ROM chips, they don't look yeah. terribly corroded. It's stuff towards the uh, the uh, the heat sink end that look more corroded. So, uh, and first, get it get it working, and then figure out what's what. Okay, I'm going to shoot pictures. I will send them along in a moment. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Okay. And we'll talk later. Have a lovely, lovely day. You too. Bye. Yeah, bye.
So that was Rudy of Rudy's Retro Intel. He's been having a rough go with a super pet. He has. I might. No, I don't really. It's funny. I was going to spray some more deoxygen. I don't really have um, something to wipe down the board very well. But I do want to get in here a little bit and work this. Sorry about the view. Get the 16 or 9 back in there and see what's what. Of course, right next to the 6809 is the 6502. And this 6502 would have come from the main board of the 8032. And this connector here, there's a, it, uh, it's an edge, but it's a ribbon cable comes up. And basically, the 6502 moves up here, and the ribbon cable connects to the bottom. And the switches over here or the place that you would connect the switches. Um, switches, and then, you know, the magic happens. But Rudy's been having a rough go of it. So we'll see what we can do. I, yeah, I think really, like, I can brush this a little bit, but this stuff is just, it's really sludge. Sludgeified, I say. And even... Very careful here. I would bet that the 6502, oh, it's coming out okay. 6502 could also use a similar. I guess it got sprayed a little bit there. Time for some deoxid. Helps if you actually get the chip in the sockets. Squeeze that back in. Certainly went in with a bit of a clunk. It did. All right. So let's see here. I am going to. Using a flash here, get a picture. See how that worked out. The flash, you know, a flash is not always helpful. I may turn that flash off and just see if this works out better. I think it's better without. And so that is a shot of just the wire on the top. This is a shot of most of the whole board. And then we flip it over. We'll get a nice tight shot of this wire, the blue wire, and then the little wee red wire. And it's funny, I question to try and get it in focus. And it's not really in focus, so I'll shoot another that shows both wires, and then I'll shoot one. It shows them both in the board. And that is that. So here we have the it's, the Super Pet came, uh, the SP9000. The original ones had two boards, an upper and a lower. And then there was the 8032 board down below. And then they did combine both boards onto one. So this is a Super Pet board from an SP9000, otherwise known as a Super Pet. And uh, we'll see. We'll see if this can be of help to return this side, which is, of course, the other side was facing up. The side that's facing down is looking pretty clean. 
but uh, yeah, the other one, the other side of this one, just from turning it over, I can see dust and stuff, crud. It's pretty filthy. It is. Anyway, we'll see about that. And uh, as soon as Rudy is down this way, or if I happen to be heading up that way, we'll uh, we'll get this to him so he can experiment further. Anyway, thanks for coming. Have a lovely, lovely day. David Bradley in the TV room, signing off for now. If you have any insights into super pet things, don't hesitate to send me a message or um, drop by Rudy's Retro Intel and send him a message because he's been having a rough go of it. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.